It is cold today, guys. Anyway, let's talk about the little mini bike here. It is spindle driven. Um, you can see the spindle sticking out the end there. I believe these subframes were made by ADA Racing. Um, I stuck the BBR sticker on there. It does have some cheap springs in the front end. Still use traditional actual GoPed brand brakes. Um, barely even worn or broken in. This is the muffler modification had to do to make this thing work. Well, I mean, it worked before, but um, basically to keep the, uh, the subframe clean. And you can see I had to trim the cover, which used to come down to about here. So I had trimmed the cover to make it fit on there as well. The throttle cable is stretched to the absolute limit here, as you can see. So when we go back to the high compression engine, we'll be able to put the throttle cable back over here. The fuel in here is really old. And... What we're going to do is we're going to dump out the old fuel. It does run with the old fuel, but we're going to give this thing a fighting chance to put fresh fuel in it. Um, I did have to raise the foot pegs when I first got it because they were in this bottom hole. Um, but the challenge was, you can kind of see they're all scraped up, is you take a corner and you would drag a peg. Uh, the steering neck bearings need to be gone through because they're kind of stiff. They got like a weird spot in them, so I twist them. They just kind of they almost bounce back to center or it gets stuck in center. So we gotta take care of that today too. What I'm gonna attempt to do when we do the top speed run is I have a, 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 um, a bar clamp for the GoPro and I'm gonna try to like mount it and I hang it off the side so we can kind of see what's going on. If not, then I'll have to put the chest mount on. I would mount it up here up front, but I might be wiggling around a lot. It might be kind of goofy. I mean, we got options, we'll, we'll try them out. Um, we got a little bit till the roads dry up. So as soon as the roads dry up, We'll do a top speed run with this little motor. All right, guys, I had to use a chest mount for this. Um, but let's go ahead and get the um, speedometer out. We are at zero for top speed. I blinked a 3.2, did I move that fast? All right, why does it keep doing that? Zero, 2.4, I'm not even moving. 0 0.2, 0.15. I guess it's trying to center me. Okay, I'm gonna stick this in my pocket. Oh, the wind is blowing everything in my yard around. Let's go see how fast this thing is. It is cold out today, guys. Oh, the road's wet. Let's go where it's dry. God, it is cold. What does the phone say for top speed? Ugh. All right, 18.9. All right, we got a top speed. Let's go ahead and pull this motor. Well, here's the motor. Um, you can see on here, it's it shared the same same bolt pattern. We got a, the bolts out of the spindle. Um, but yeah, she bolted right up, spindle went right on. It took a standard spindle bolt. Um, nothing, nothing real major, it's just rotation was right and it worked. We got a number 23 on the side here. Maybe this thing is just 23 cc's. Feels slower than that, but I don't know. There she is. I'm going to put a run mic in the open. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it runs out of fuel, I guess. 
goes. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Maybe I'll turn this into a blender or something. You know, how cool would that be to have a blender to take to the beach? I think it'd be pretty cool. Oops, throttle screw fell out. All right, let's look at the um, high compression motor and get things cleaned up and ready to go back together. Here she is. So I'm using DDM's gasket kit for the LH motor and it comes with this big aluminum plate for the exhaust manifold. It's got a cutout to clear the cases, but it was hitting the head, so I just trimmed it. But springs are on. This whole thing's put together now. There is a build video on this motor if you want to see it. Um, it'll be edited and put up after this video is up and edited because you guys like to see me ride things more than you guys like to see me work on things. Um, 688 carburetor. Um, I got everything mounted on here. This says it's Walbro, but on the carburetor body, it says China instead of Japan. Um, so I'm hesitant to see if this carburetor, how well it even performs. Um, but yeah, so it's got an RC fan cover on it, uh, mainly because you can't fit an LH coil, or you can't fit an RC coil without using an RC cover. I'm using an RC coil with an LH flywheel. I might switch to the RC flywheel after we get this thing running, but this flywheel is lightened. So let's put a spindle on it, stick it in the scooter, and go from there. Well, here we are. She's mounted. Um, I had to run new fuel lines. The last fuel lines are leaking at the tank. Um, I threw the whole subframe inside the parts washer and scrubbed it up. I do not have a pipe bracket yet. Um, but she's on there. She fits. And I think what we're going to try to do is get this thing to start. Um, the spindle was a little chewed up, or bald I should say, so I, I, I took a grinder and just put a, a few passes on it. Um, I did add a third bearing. This thing did not have a third bearing before, but um, I'm not going to risk this motor and this crankshaft because I don't have another one on hand. And since I'm still building all this out of my pocket, I don't really have a choice but to be safe and take extra precautions. Let's get you set back up and we're going to try to start this thing right now. My screwdriver first. Um, VP110, metally 132 to 1. I hope I can even full start this thing. Over the, over the the horn trying to choke it. Oh my god, I can't pull it. Oh, I got a pop. Another pop. Let me add some uh, idle air. Let's see what we get.
kill switch wire to this motor and I probably need one but I think that sounds pretty good for a little LH this pipe is a lot quieter than I thought it was gonna be not much temperature to it yet but I need to make a pipe bracket and put a tire on it and see how this thing runs <laughs> 